So what the fuck was the reason for leaving? You, you seem like if I go, this is the best fucking group of friends you could ever have and you don't want to say a single shit thing about them. But you all left? You think I'm just going to sit here and say, oh, no, I love the Vargos. I just want to left because it was the right thing to do. But eventually, me and Benji rekindled and made up again. And we did become friends. And we did hang out. And we did dumb shit together. Hell, you even gave me a free AK-47 and we were in the back of the van. And we all fucking did dumb shit with cops. It was wild. But I still remember what you did, Chico. To my family down there. Okay. Don't for the love- one more kick. Don't for I the love of God it. tell me that what I heard is fucking true here. Well, here's the thing, Dundee, and this is, this is the kicker. Okay. I don't remember shit. Kicker! It's not true. <laughs> it's not Someone true. Someone will knock me out before I bleed out. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you said kicker. <laughs> Please knock me out before I bleed out. What is that? Oh! What is that you heard? Helmet. Helmet. <laughs> Wait, that punch sound like it fucking hurt. Oh my god. It didn't even knock my helmet off. Ash, I, yeah, I don't want to be on your wrong side. <laughs> yeah, I'm strong. Okay, but keep talking. Um, what is it that you heard? See, I heard this absolutely ridiculous thing from, from my guy saying that, like, some people left the Vargos and they're not dead. I thought that was ridiculous. So I'm, I just wanted to make sure that that, that actually wasn't true, because that'd be pretty dumb, you know. Chico? I mean... Reggie? You see me right in front of you, right? Why aren't you wearing colors? Because then D, I'm no longer a virus. Oh, hold on. Ah! What was in it? What was in it? I wanted to look. Uh, huh? No, Dundee, no. No? What was in it? I wanted to look. I want to know what's in there. Uh, huh? Bring it back out. Bring it back out. <laughs> I want to look what's in the van. What's in the van? Huh? It was, uh, it was treasure hunting stuff. Sure. It was. Okay, sorry. I was just running away. I thought I heard you say something stupid, like you left the he left the Vargos or something. <laughs> Do you know how fucking stupid that would be? <laughs> That'd be like the stupidest decision I have ever fucking heard in my fucking life. Like you know how fucked you would be if you left the Vargos. <laughs> Like, if so I had a... Why would I, uh... Why would how, I be fucked? How would we be fucked? Oh, because, you know, if you're a fucker, you know how you guys operate. You'd fucking kill each other and hunt each other all fucking day if you left. Hey, Chico, have you been hunted yet? I have not yet. been hunted yet. Wait, what do you mean you haven't been hunted? As if you... Wait a minute, did... Did you... Did, did, did you? Wait, what? Did you? It what? It, uh, Junior, what's going on? Hey, you got that stuff for me? Wow, what's good, yeah. man? Okay. Chuck yeah, chuck it, chuck it over there. I'm just never gonna acknowledge it, am I? Is uh some oxygen there? It was my car. I just uh I just told him not to sell it, and I just took it. But you can have it. I got use. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, good, man. Uh, oh, I think, um... I think there's one the more... There might in there as well, in two greens if you need it. Um, I'm gonna go have a net for now, but if you really need to, I think Casho might be around for a bit. Okay, radio. Get some more shit from there. But yeah, I'm gonna go have a net, man. I might, uh, see you either later or tomorrow. Go sleepy, sleepy. Bye-bye. Alright, uh, bye, man. Later. Ooh, a pill. Ah, mm. Anyway, so here's the kick at Dundee. Yeah, I don't even I don't even remember joining the Vargos. 
<laughs> okay, this is funny. Okay, what, what's the real reason you're wearing colors? CG clapping you guys too much? What's going on here? Mm, no, I genuinely left the Vargos. You genuinely left the fucking Vargos? Mm-hmm. Ash, am I, okay, look, I need you to be perfectly honest with me. You're not bullshitting me right now. They, Ash, they're telling me the fucking truth. You shouldn't. You should speak to Benji. You actually left the fucking Vargos. What about you? Oh! Hey, Junior, what's going on? Last time I'm boarding, I promise I felt bad, but I'm um, just just a heads up just down the road when I was uh, passing by, a whole bunch of cops said, yeah, just keep an eye out. Whereabouts? That's all. Uh, like, literally just down the road from you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, good man. All right. Okay, so where so what were we talking about again? I forgot. I think actually can we just, explain uh, my part a lot more. I I don't we, know anything. We, we were just seeing how you was doing, Dendy. You know what I mean? Oh you yeah. Seen you know what? Uh, I'm all right. How's the Vargos going? <laughs> mm, no idea. Wouldn't know. What wouldn't you know? Because I'm not a part of the Vargos anymore. What? What? You? You? Do you actually left the Vargos? Yes, I actually left the Vargos. What? Look at your face. What fucking meth? How much meth did fucking Reggie make you cook to make you fucking think it was a wise idea to leave yeah, the Vargos? I don't Vargos? even remember cooking meth. Oh, Jesus Christ, you got fucked up. Okay, maybe you did actually yeah. get kicked out of the fucking Vargos. What the fuck happened, Chico? A lot. A lot has happened. Dundee. Things that I won't disclose. Do you want to talk about this here at Hayes? Do you want to go somewhere more private? I mean, regardless, I don't think it's going to be a lot of a conversation. But I mean, we can. Uh, it probably is for the best. I mean, I, then, you, you know, you'll stay focused on the conversation at hand, you know. Let's go, Wheels. Benji's already... Benji's already pushed me down in fucking Mount Chiliad. Oh, oh, hey, oh, <laughs> You're terrible oh, at driving this. Listen, we don't oh. need to a, a hospital visit, all right? So what the fuck happened, man? Why the fuck you no longer repping yellow? I thought you were Eastside Vargos for life, not Eastside Vargos too. It doesn't fucking can't be fucked anymore. This is the best way that I can say this. Whether I stood or I left, it really didn't matter. If I stood there, I, was, I wasn't going to be trusted. And I, if I stood, I probably would have been dead weeks from now because of that trust. So I had to make the ultimate decision and that's to get out. Wow. That's your lousy fucking excuse? There's a lot more to it than D, but I'm pretty sure you can understand, you know, what happens in the club. Your club stays club in the club. Business, right? Oh, it is. What happens in the Vagos stays in the Vagos. Regardless of me rapping it or not, I'm not going to sit here and tarnish the name. I'm not gonna sit here and speak on shit. No. Dundee, I, I, I just think have to make the, a decision uh, for myself. Dundee, I, I think because I don't I don't know fuck all, right? Uh, that's the that that it is what it is. But from what I've seen with everyone that's been here and that's left, no one's said a bad thing. Because none of them wanna talk badly against it. So what the fuck was Everyone the reason for living? You, you all seem like if Vargos is the best fucking group of friends you could ever have and you don't want to say a single shit thing about them, but you all left? You think I'm just going to sit here and say, oh, no, I love the Vargos. I just want to left because it was the right thing to do. And I also think the fact that no one's come after anybody and everyone's still seen each other and talked to each other without there being any violence, I think that kind of speaks for itself. So you're telling me not a single person's been shot in this whole ordeal? 
But I mean, I, I definitely got fucking shot. I shot I 16 shot fucking well. bullet wounds. Ocean dump, I lost a kidney. I woke up the ICU. But nothing's happened after that. Why would they? You've been taken care of, don't you see that? You say no violence as you sit in a wheelchair and a fucking helmet on your head. You say you got nothing but good things to say, but you wake up in the ICU with scars permanently on your fucking chest. What do you fucking mean there's been no violence? You got fucking I'm fucked talking more up. About respect afterwards. There's what do you difference. mean respect afterwards? Sandy, from, from my time as a fucking lawyer and what I know from my my experiences, it shows shows a lot about a character when they leave a family, a group, a club, and you'll see the ones that should never be trusted because they run around shit talking and spilling shit, saying things. And the ones who keep their mouth shut and just move on with their lives and keep pushing forward. You know, Reggie, you're absolutely right. You're completely true about that. Because you got people like Freddy Fastfingers who left my club because he didn't want to get into a war and he said he was scared about his family and he didn't want to be in the gang life anymore. He talks my fucking ear off about how he wanted to fucking think about his future wife and wanted to be safe and sound and then leaves my club and then two weeks later he fucking goes to war with Pink Gang in the HOA. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that for a second. I so said, you know what you fucking signed up for, man. Here's what I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, bro. It sounds mm -hmm. like something inside the Vargas made you think it was a sinking ship. And you decided to jump ship while you still could. Because you were feared that you were going to be the one who get shot next. You were the one who were going to get fucked over later. And so you bailed while you could before you sunk with the ship. And that's what pisses me the fuck off. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but this is shitty. You left a place or got Not kicked out. You got kicked out of a fucking place. You, you left a place that you said that you rep for life. The ship was sinking and it was going bad, 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 and you bailed. You think the Vargo ship's ever gonna sink? Bro, right, from what yeah, I've heard, half the, half the fucking Vargo's just fucking left. Sounds like the ship is sinking. Regardless of us leaving or not, the Vargo's are still gonna be who they are. Yeah, because there's a group of Vargos still there fucking plugging the holes in the ship while everyone else is pussing out and being a bitch and leaving. Like you. And yeah, I'm here to talk shit, man. Benji or KJ, who knows a lot more than. You know, you can do what you want, then D. Talk all the shit that you want. If you want to sit here and do that, then fine, by all means. You're not gonna hurt me by talking shit, then D. Regardless, I stand by my my decision. I live with no regrets. You live a loose end, Chico. That's what you live as now. I saw it. I'm not a loose end. I don't remember shit. How does this make me a loose end? Two people left my club. Riley and Malachi. Do you know them? I do. I didn't kill them. They remembered everything. Silence. Smooth sailing. All of a sudden I go to war with my Buddha Gundai. I get word that Riley spoke with them. And all of a sudden my Buddha Gundai are putting my Buddha Gundai's gang signs at the front of my warehouse. Well, that isn't the case, Dundee. Not today. I talk regardless, like, as I told you, just because I left doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and spill the beans on the Vagos. I do that, then I will be six feet deep. I'm not an idiot, Dundee. Dundee, they wouldn't even trash talk them to you right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried still about respect there, even if they're not part of it anymore. Like I said, that, that shows true to a character, Dundee, and you should know that. There's plenty of people that will leave or, or just disappear, do their own thing, and then they'll stand there and shit-talk the leader of the club, or they'll shit-talk the club, or the problems that they had with it and that kind of stuff. 
What information have you gotten from Chico with this? It should speak true to his character alone. Sounds I don't like. I know what I was like to you while I was in the Vargos or anything like that, but I remember when I helped you as a lawyer. Regardless of what happened, I was still there to help you. And I'm just reaching out to people that I remember. Trying to connect some to those people and tell them that I'm still me. Still here. If I did anything wrong to you while I was in the Vargos or mistreated your club or anything like that, that memory's gone. It's it's long gone. So I don't know if if you've been pissed at me or what, but I'm still here. I get your concern, then D. I'm not saying you are wrong for it. You live through it. You have the experiences on it. But I'm sad to tell you that I'm not <laughs> like the, like Riley or Malachi. They did the. They took the opportunity to talk shit and help their enemies. You know, help your enemies to hurt you because they couldn't do it themselves. Whatever happened in the Vagos, whatever I remember, whatever shit I had to deal with, that goes with me to the grave. Because if I say anything about that, anything, I will be six feet deep. Probably swimming with those fishes over there. You're a member of a gang. I'm a leader of a gang. Club, gang, whatever you fucking want to say it is. We have two very different point of views here. You're right. In my eyes, let's go through your eyes. I imagine mm -hmm. in your eyes something happened and that made you scared. You thought you were going to be next, maybe a corrupt member of the Vargos. Maybe the leader was going to kill you. Maybe no one agreed with your punishment. Maybe you did something wrong and you were scared and you left. Maybe the whole club was falling apart and maybe you needed to leave while you still could. There was a good reason in your mind that justified why you left. In your eyes, everything is fine. Because you can justify yourself. You don't need to lie to yourself. You understand that there was a reason behind the reason that you left. That's how you see it. Something happened that made it worth it. Here's how I see it. You're weak. And you failed. Well, that would be true. If that was anything of the source that actually happened. But I mean, listen Dundee. Believe what you want. I'm not going to tell you that your ideas and... All these opinions on me is wrong. You're entitled to them. But would I let that affect me? No, I'm not. I know what went down. I know my reasons for leaving. And I'm going to stand by them. But you got a stain now. But you... I got a stain. Yeah, you You're got right. a stain. That, I can agree with you. I could agree with you. And that. not in the I way you think. I don't mean you got a stain that you're an ex Vargo member, just like how Wingman was no, always an ex block. I mean, you got a stain, motherfucker. You got a goddamn stain on your clothes that you can't wash off, and there will always be in the thought of my mind that Chico left the club that he would die for. And I will always remember that. I always remember well, that remember you, it. your word ain't really trustworthy to anyone right now. I wouldn't trust you for a second. And I don't wish you I don't know what gives you the idea that anyone's gonna trust you at all. You left a you left a gang and you weren't kicked out. You left on your own accords. So many people maybe not everyone, but the leaders of the city, they're gonna look at you as an ex member, and they're gonna look at you as one that wasn't faithful to your family. And you seem like a guy that thinks about yourself. Maybe that's not how it comes across to you. But that's how it comes across to me. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Dundee. But, um, I am loyal to my family. I'm with my family now. So, I mean, like, you know, as you said before, 
you and I look at things differently, right? So Stop fucking sugarcoating that. it! You're sugarcoating it! You're putting fucking cream on the cake! Wake the fuck up, Chico! Wake the fuck up! Stop justifying yourself! Stop trying to reason for everything that you're doing right now! You won't accept the fucking reality! You're I'm trying to fucking reality, justify yourself! No, you don't! God fucking damn, Chico! You're a goddamn pussy! You're a fucking bitch for leaving! You're a goddamn moron! I can't trust a thing that you say! I can't trust a thing Veggie says! And if I, what I hear about Benji is true, holy fuck, I can't trust him either! Why the fuck would anyone trust someone that screams Eastside Vargos and then leaves? You sign up, you knew what you were signing up for. You knew what you were repping. You knew that you were gonna die for them. But clearly, you couldn't fucking do it. Cause you didn't die for them. Cause you left and you're still here. Why would anyone trust any word that comes out of your mouth from the future? Eastside Bago means nothing now. You are Dandy, fucking- you're saying if... Dandy, what you're saying right now means that if it's sometime in the future your club votes you out, you die. Pretty much. Even if that it's something that you hold true to yourself or something happens inside your club and you didn't do any wrong, yet they still vote you out. That's it. Legacy of Dundee's gone. It's it's a lot to think about and there's a lot of things that you don't know there's a lot of things i don't know dundee but what i do know is the people that are around me the people that i've known for a very long time back before fuck kj before i was even a lawyer man like I, I would do anything for kj and the fact that i've been told that i was in the vargos and that i left the vargos and this is what's happened to Thank me you, Jack. kj's still there in my mind i made the right decision because, like I said, I've known KJ for a long time and I would do anything for that person. And I'd do anything for the people that are beside me at the moment. Shit, those Vargos I, stood I up for you, man. I don't ex Did they? I don't remember anything it's a, it's about a them. that you don't know, Dundee. You know? But listen, I respect your decision. And I respect the fact that you don't respect me. And I respect the fact that you don't trust me. That's no weight off my shoulder. I can't force you to trust me, Dundee. I can't force you to believe what the fuck I'm saying. You have this idea, and that's how you want to paint this picture, and so be it. I do have a question, Dundee. Because, like I said, I don't remember shit. Did I ever do any wrong by you? You would know the answer to this. Did I ever do any wrong by your club? I don't know if tell you... you what, all of your members have had nothing not, but nice things and they checked on me. Chica, were you there that night? The night with Riley and Malakai and Benji in my, bar in my billabong? Yeah, I was. Was Reggie there? Reggie was not. He was not there. No. I do think that at the time he was just starting out, but he wasn't there. See, I remember that night very well. And I remember what every single one of you Vargas did. I remember, I understand that I made that I made a mistake. And I ain't questioning the bullet I took to my head for it. But Reggie, you weren't there that night. But let me remind you. One of my members shot Benji. And it was a mix of bad decision making, miscommunication, misunderstanding and a bit of Chinese whispers that led to a shooting. I did everything in my power to fix the problem. 
It didn't work. And the Vargos took the opportunity to lure my club down to their own home and executed them in my own place. I've remembered that night very well. I will never forget what the Vargos did down there. And honestly, Reggie, for a while you were a bit of a cunt, but you did help me as a lawyer. And you ran the meth game for a while, and you intimidated the fuck out of me. But you did assist me in the meth gang, and you helped me make lots of money. And eventually, me and Benji rekindled and made up again. And we did become friends. And we did hang out. And we did dumb shit together. Hell, you even gave me a free AK-47 and we were in the back of the van. And we all pl fucking did dumb shit with cops. It was wild. But I still remember what you did, Chico. To my family down there. So you thought this entire time that I was really friends with you. But frankly, I was pretending because mm. I didn't give a singular fuck. I wanted to wait until the perfect moment to bring this memory back up. Just so you can eat the same fucking pain that I fucking experienced when I was back there. Hearing the bull- hearing the screams of my own don't fucking club. Don't shoot him. You think I fucking liked you, Reggie? You affiliated with these dumb oh. motherfuckers. I know you're checking for a gun, Ash. You did nothing wrong. Yeah, but I feel like you're about to do something wrong. And I won't stand for it. I want you to know that. You gonna defend this cocksucker? Yeah, I fucking will. He's my family. You still defend the Vargos? No, they excommunicated me. Why would I? They executed you? Excommunicated. What does that mean? It means if any of them talk to me or hang out with me, then they're as good as dead. Let's just speak, speak fucking... I wasn't even in the Vargos, Dundee. Let's just speak more than a thousand words of self, Dundee. Someone who wasn't even in there, and the people inside of it can't even talk to that person? Why would they do that? Why? I can't answer that question. At the end of the day, Dundee, do not shoot Chico. Talk to the rest of them that left. What are you gonna do? Call the Vargas? Dundee, we have no ties to the Vargas. Exactly. Chico, you're not understanding why he just said for the Vargas. He's saying it because you have no backing. But at the end I of the that. day, Dundee, you need to look at what we've. What's happening here, man? Is you, you're trying to seize an easy opportunity in your eyes instead of looking at the future. Stop looking at what's happening now and living in the past. Yeah, you got hurt. I get it. I do. And again, anything that I did wrong, I I can't answer for that. I really can't because I don't remember. But you said that I helped you. And I don't like helping a lot of people, Dundee. I can tell you that because yeah, it's in my character to be a lawyer and defend people and that kind of stuff but if i continue coming back to a person it's because i see something in them and the fact that i'm with these people it's because there's a massive connection there so you should look at the future and see yeah you might not trust us now but talk to the other members find out from them they might fill in some blanks and that might put your mind a little bit more at ease be smart, Dundee. Oh Don't no! Just call for motions. I'm being very smart right now, because this is where I realise that you really don't remember. Because you think at one point I actually ever trusted you. This entire time when we were doing meth, you were teaching me things. I was reluctant at first, but then I started listening. Not because I trusted you. I was basically putting my toes in water to see how close I could get, see how good of a friend I could be, just so I could fuck you in the end. You too, Chico. Oh, buddy, buddy. Best of fucking friends we could have been. 
We were there hanging out sometimes, maybe not that much. But I was waiting for the best opportune fucking... I'm just as bad as you. I'm just as bad as you. Friends until it benefits me. If I hurt you now, that means I was using your trust until it benefited me the most, which was getting close to you. Which would mean I'd be equally as bad as you, as that's what you did to me. I didn't do that, Wendy. Well, you're following orders for the I place that you fucking orders. died for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Following orders, bullshit. I was following orders for the place I didn't truly follow. At the time, I did truly follow it. There's so much more that I wish I could tell you, Dendi. So much more I wish I could. But as I told you before, I can't. I speak on it, I'm dead. And I have to respect that. I survived with an inch of my life. Should I kill them, chat? And I'm grasping to that. And I'm gonna keep pushing forward. I have a question, Dundee. You... You said that you got close to me just because I was helping you on that kind of stuff. Did I ever get anything back from you? Or did I just help you endlessly? And your club? But again, you can answer this, I don't know. I was constantly trying to work that out. I was waiting for the trick, the catch. What do you get out of it? That's what I always said to my members as to why we should continue not trusting you. And I couldn't find it. I was looking for the catch. I was waiting for it. I was preparing for it. I refuse to meet you without a gun. We went for a walk one time. Where we walked alone. And I intentionally walked past the police department. Because I knew you weren't that crazy. Just so that you wouldn't shoot me. Just so I could be prepared if you tried to fuck me. And you never did. I don't know if you didn't get a chance to. Or if you genuinely fucking didn't want to. I've got a question for Chico then that maybe he can fill in. Okay. Chico, when I helped... When I was helping Dundee... Adrenaline Freak! Thank you, man! Do you know that if the Vargos were happy with me doing that? Or did you guys even know how much that I would have helped him? You explained to me that the Vargos didn't, weren't really affiliated. And Chico should be able to answer how much that he would have known if I did help you or to what extent. I mean, the Vargas I, mean I do remember going down into the kitchen with you guys, teaching you. He told me he wanted to teach you because he could see potential in you. He wanted to help you. That's why he wanted to do it. So that we all can make money and prosper through this. And not fuck up and have endless fucking shooting nonsense because you're down there or that we want to cook. Everything was just so that we could be on the same page. If we wanted to fuck you over through that, it could have happened. But we wasn't trying that. We genuinely, I don't know why I'm saying we, Reggie genuinely wanted to help you. Which explains to me why a lot of your members would have been checking up on me and seeing if I need, saying if I need anything to, they're there to help me. 
And do I look after Wait, people that to... I keep close to me for a reason? I keep people around me close to me for a reason. But I will protect those people. And obviously you're one of those people. Club was one of those people. When we went to go cook, we always used to do two sessions. Guys, thank you, man. But every time we would finish our one session, Reggie would call your boys just to see if you guys were cooking today. And when you guys said that you guys already cooked or you guys were going to cook, we left it alone so that you guys can do it. We didn't try to power arm you and take it away from you. We wanted you guys to take that opportunity. Perfect your strain. Build yourself up. Because it benefited you. You didn't ask for a benefit. It did, how, because... did it, how did it benefit us? Explain that to me. We never asked you for anything. Because you didn't you need it from me. The natural, the nat me naturally cooking and getting more strains out to the West benefited you. Simply because that's what I never got. But you said it yourself, lots of money. You didn't give me a spot because you couldn't hold it down or because you liked me. You gave me a spot because it benefited you in some way and you needed more people to cook. It did not benefit us. Then why did you manage everyone? You managed the ballers, you managed me. So you tried to get everyone. You fucking get worried about getting raided. We wanted to be on the same page so that we could fucking coordinate everything. What the fuck do you want? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice again. Can I call you back? Thank you. <laughs> Dundee, this might help you a little bit. I spoke with Joko the day that I got out from the ballers, from the day that I got out of ICU. And Joko found out that I was no longer a Vargo. And he said, if you need anything, tell me, I'll help you. And I told him that I don't remember anything about the kitchens or any of my time there. And he said, if you ever need to, I'll take you and I'll reteach you. Can I call Benji? Oh, call Benji. So if I've got... let's, let's get him here. This is if annoying got... as fuck, man. If I've got someone from another gang saying that to me, must have meant that I did treat a lot of people right. And again, Dundee, if your members are calling me and saying those things and stopping on the side of the road when they see me wheeling down the street, well, we'll see I must have treated them right too. Okay, bye -bye. So not everything's what you see on the outside. But sometimes people are very true to the people that they want to keep in their life. And there's not all smoke and mirrors or there's not another reason that they're doing things. Sometimes it is just that they're a general in person. Reggie. I want to make my decision, but I'm going to go speak with Benji. Because, you know, you're both telling me I should go speak with him. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to go find out. You drive me here. Can I get a ride? <laughs> you know, I know, no, okay, oh, okay, I'm gonna walk, okay, oh, no, I'm alone, alone! <laughs> it's like, it's like fucking, fuck you! You suck! I wanna speak with him alone. Well, he's coming here, so why don't we go and you stay here? I know a better, more cinematic place to have this conversation. Jesus Christ, Dundee. I just what? told him to come here. Now he's going to be cranky at me. Will you two have a talk about me having a hissy fit? There is it. Is he flying the fucking well, stop helicopter? Having a hissy fit or I won't say you're having a fucking hissy fit, Dundee. Is he, he's driving the fucking red helicopter, isn't he? <laughs> Probably. He likes to arrive in style. He's, he's, he's landing the fucking helicopter. <laughs> yeah, he's stylish as fuck, man. What do you, you want to do? Well, I am not going to let this man outstyle me. I'm landing where I'm going to go to a place he can't land a helicopter and he's going to have to fucking walk. I will call him. Goodbye! Jesus Christ, Dundee.